This is Caroline on 199, your all-day music station. Felixstowe became the focus of national attention on Saturday the 28th of March 1964. The offshore radio station Radio Caroline started a radio revolution in the United Kingdom by broadcasting from three and a half miles off our coast. The station was sighted on the boat the MV Praetorisha, renamed MV Caroline, reputedly after Caroline Kennedy, the daughter of American President J.F. Kennedy. This is Radio Caroline on 199, your all-day music station. We are on the air every day from 6 in the morning to 6 at night. The time right now is 1 minute past 12, and that means it's time for Christopher Moore. Hello and happy Easter to all of you. This is Christopher Moore with the first record program on Radio Caroline. The first record is by the Rolling Stones, and I'd like to play it for all of the people who work to put the station on the air, and particularly for Ronan. Radio Caroline became an immediate hit and large numbers flocked to Felixstowe to see the boat. Over 500 cars an hour entered Felixstowe on Sunday 5th of April and local boatmen started running trips to allow their customers to obtain a closer look. There were possibilities that Felixstowe Urban District Council could use the station to advertise Felixstowe and local roundtable members visited the boat to gain publicity for the carnival which they were running. This brought success because DJ Simon D was one of the panel choosing the Carnival Queen and Radio Caroline agreed to give free publicity to the event. By 1966 many more offshore radio stations had begun broadcasting around the UK and the three ships stationed off Frinton-on-Sea in Essex were being serviced from Felixstowe docks. The offshore one provided tendering services to Radio Caroline, Radio London and Radio England Britain Radio transferring DJs, crew and supplies between ships and shore. Radio fans could see DJs arriving and departing from Felixstowe docks. Here are Radio London DJs Tony Windsor and a youthful-looking Kenny Everett at Felixstowe. In this film from 1966 we see former Radio Caroline DJ Tony Blackburn, who had by then moved to Radio London, arriving at the Felixstowe dock basin. Due to the UK government introducing the Marine Broadcasting Offences Act, along with many other offshore radio stations, Radio London closed down. All the DJs came ashore at Felixstowe for the last time on August 14th, 1967. In September 2017, Felixstowe and Offshore Radio, in conjunction with the Felixstowe Society, laid a commemorative stone to mark the fact that Radio Caroline started off Felixstowe in March 1964. The event was attended by many past and present Radio Caroline DJs, along with crowds of offshore radio fans. Amongst the guests were veteran DJs Emperor Roscoe, Tony Prince and Roger Twiggy Day. The stone can be seen in Woolsey Gardens Felixstowe, overlooking the sea where Radio Caroline was originally anchored all those years ago. In 2019, Felixstowe and Offshore Radio was invited to provide a display at the Felixstowe Museum as part of their Step Back to the 60s exhibition. It was planned that the display would be refreshed and updated for the 2020 season. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, the museum did not open its doors. But it is hoped that the museum and our display will be open to be viewed again in 2021. Felixstowe and Offshore Radio gives multimedia presentations to local societies and groups where we tell the entertaining story of this fascinating history. Please visit the Felixstowe and Offshore Radio Facebook page to contact us and find lots more information. <laughs>